Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you happen to see this, I'd like to offer your monthly elemental energy reading for the month of December for the elemental energy of Earth. Earth covers the zodiac signs of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Um, if you're interested as to why I read for the elements instead of the zodiac, there's a link in the description to some videos I made about it. Uh, if you've never had your charts done, there's also a link. It's not sponsored or anything like that. It's just a really good resource. Uh, it's called a natal chart. It gives you your 12 houses with all the little house uh, planets and stuff in it. And then gives you a 10 to 20 page uh, breakdown of what all that means. It's a really good resource if you've never had your birth charts done. So with that we'll hop on over to our reading and get started um, i read intuitively so we'll go through the messages from the texts but then whatever else source wants to bring in we'll go with that and we'll start off with our I Ching, uh, and it's for earth i cast this hexagram before we started it is at number eight and it is unity and coordination Unity or coordination, good fortune, further consultation of an oracle will provide omens of great and lasting value. No error. Those whose hearts are troubled assemble. The, laggard, the laggards suffer disaster. You definitely don't want to be burying yourself in laziness this month is what I'm hearing. Because you are working together. You're standing up for each other and you're in your circle. You're able to build and grow significantly whether it's spiritually mentally emotionally could be profitably uh, but what they're saying is make sure that everything comes together because by doing that you're able to actually build things that are going to last for a significant length of time but being um, uh, slovenly or being lazy not not a good call for the month of december for our earth family so let's take a peek at our foundation line here where there, where there is confidence, the work of unification is carried on faultlessly, for confidence is like a flowing bowl. There is a windfall yet to come. Fake it to make it. If you don't feel confident in it, figure out a way to make yourself knowledgeable in whatever it is you're working on, whether that is within retail, whether it's in restaurants, it could be online, whatever it is. Do what you need to do to gain the knowledge because that knowledge can actually lead to confidence and do the do the processes that are going to inspire you to gain that not confidence and when you're in those situations where are you sure you know and you're you're not quite sure be like this is what i found out so far if there's something that you know that i'm missing let me know because we can grow together by doing so and that's a good way to approach that and it builds your confidence the, the second place line Unification or cooperation should proceed from within your own circle. Righteousness persistent, righteous persistence will bring good fortune. You can't unify something from the outside. It has to be from the inside. <laughs> it just doesn't work outside. So don't try to like push people together. Stand in the center and draw them to you. That's how you're going to unify people to a common goal, especially within your inner circle. Come up with the idea and then start to draw people towards it. You're not going to be able to force anything on them. That's just unfortunately not how it works. But you're able to draw things to you. So get the plan ahead and start to draw the people who are going to assist or guide or support it into the circle. Be persistent if you have to. Righteous persistent is being in holding integrity while pushing forward. So you want to make sure that you are doing the right thing while you're pushing forward don't try to cut corners don't try to cheat the system it's not going to work out for you if you do <laughs> so our third place line uh he joins himself with evil doers if you do that that's where you're going to end up having problems righteous persistence means doing the right thing for the right reason showing integrity holding to ethics morals and logic and reason following your intuition correctly and with this third place line is just a heads up do not tie yourself to people who are going to cheat the system. They're going to try to cut corners. They're going to try to scam something. By doing that, you will fail. Whatever it is you're working on, whether it's relationship, retail, um, online, if you try to cheat the system, you will fail. That's just what they're saying. <laughs> uh, your fourth place line. Do, 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 do. 
He cooperates with people beyond his immediate circle. Righteous persistence brings good fortune. Once you get that inner circle, that group of people that are there to support, we work together. Some have more knowledge than others, so they're sharing, uplifting. When you get into that situation, you can start to reach out to people outside of that circle, but you need to have that foundational line, just like with the foundation, where there's confidence the work of unification is carried on faultlessly. That's your baseline. If, as long as you can get that foundation built with the proper healthy circle of people, then you can start bringing others in because you're, you know that you're foundationally grounded and that's the important aspect here. So our fifth place line, the only one that's solid, <laughs> relying on his people's cooperation, the king pursues game which is enclosed on three sides but loses the quarry ahead. This is because the local people were not warned righteous persistence brings good fortune. Okay, let's see what that actually means because I'm confused by the king part. So let's hop down here. Right, where are we at? Yeah, five. This would seem to suggest that our loss is not due to disloyalty but to having failed to make people into our confidence. So that actually makes more sense. When it says relying on people's cooperation, the king pursues game which is enclosed on three sides. You're the king. You expect people who you've brought in to do the work that they said they would do. Um, it says that he loses his quarry because he's chasing the game that's enclosed on three sides. So the people that you brought in outside of your inner circle may not have always been the best options. They are one of them or two of them or something didn't have all the details or they made claims, cut in corners, that they could not actually fulfill. And that's where you might have lost something temporarily but again go back to that righteous persistence stick to your morals stick to your ethics do things with integrity things will balance back out but it's there's a lesson to be learned is what i'm hearing so if you can pay attention to who you're bringing in if someone feels a little bit off it's not a bad thing to be like maybe you're not the right fit for our group here that's fine that is completely acceptable to do and that's where they're saying um and that's more of a business aspect so just how that rolls is what I'm hearing um, our top one capstone here attempts to bring about unity when there is no one at the head results in disaster for you earth in this situation you need to be the one who steps up they're saying that this is your plan this is your goals your dreams your agendas you're the one asked bringing everybody in even if someone happens to be further ahead or have more knowledge this is your plan this is your um, situation you are the king doesn't matter which gender you're the leader of this group and for you to not hold that position and be like no no get not stop we're doing it this way I will hear your suggestions but we're not just gonna change everything because you said so this is my project bring your information to me we will sort it out but there has to be a leader in the situation is what they're saying so uh, Earth, definitely going to be an interesting month for you. Definitely a time for growth and change in a positive aspect, of course. So pay attention to the things that are around you, what's going on, because those are all going to play very vital roles. But make sure you have that strong inner circle. And if your inner circle is really small, that's great. But if you're working on a new project, pick the people who are going to be the perfect ones to fit that bill and work with them specifically. So let's hop over to our tarot um, I read week to week there's approximately four and a half weeks so we'll go with five weeks in December uh, each week there is a guide or guardian uh, energy or spirit to help guide you through the week or to guard you from uh, unwanted or unneeded uh, energies we have a message from source which is a positive affirmation some support some encouragement that comes in and then we'll look at the tarot for a lesson or a challenge, something to work on, or something that might be coming in out of um, out of left field, so to speak. Uh, if I read one, two, three, four, but if the week's rearranged for you, take what works, leave the rest for someone else. With that, we will get started with your first week's guide or guardian. It is number 26, I'm horrible with Roman numerals, <laughs> called The Healer. The healer dragon is coming in to help you work through process and grow beyond the issues that you've dealt with in the past. The healer in this aspect is saying, 
you have you've had a little bit of an issue with self-confidence in certain areas you're just not quite sure if you're ready to take that leadership role the healer dragon this first week is saying let's figure out where that comes from you have these gifts and abilities you have these dreams goals ambitions what is it that's slowing you down what is holding you up let's kind of examine that process it and work through it so this first week it's really about guiding you through the process of doing some inner work some inner releasing um, they're also saying it could be some shadow work that's coming up this first week and having a dragon like the healer energies are definitely helpful with that so our message from source is legends learn from those who inspire you when you're working through healing sometimes it's look to others to see how they processed it how they improved from it and when you're able to look to people who've had a similar situation real or fictional by the way it doesn't matter on that respect you're able to see oh well that person overcame these monstrous challenges struggles and issues and they succeeded so if i look at what i'm dealing with how can i overcome it can i use their what they did to adjust for mine definitely take a peek at the things like that because inevitably there's a seed of truth even in the fiction and that's where you can gain a massive amount of knowledge especially when you tie that into the healer dragon so let's look at your lesson or challenge from the tarot this tarot deck in particular has been exceptionally talkative lately it wants to throw cards out at me um, for your first uh, lesson or challenge is the six of pentacles don't get discouraged and don't get lazy is what I'm hearing. The Six of Pentacles says that there's a lot of good things available and they're just kind of like landing at your feet. And because they're landing at your feet and you're not working for them, what I'm hearing is that you're kind of like, I just don't care about that. You're so focused is what um, you're so focused on this future goal that you've kind of neglected the things that you already have and there's a lesson in gratitude is what i'm hearing so this first week as you're going through this process of understanding more about what's going on in here it's also a good idea to look at how you can appreciate things in the physical world because the pentacles are about the everyday and physical find out how to appreciate tap into gratitude and really look at it from that perspective it's really not a good idea to be like don't really care about that because that's not going to help you move forward when you don't really understand and appreciate where you're at and how far you've come already. Your second week's guide or guardian is number 32. It's the Divine Feminine. So this second week's energy is going to be a little bit more gentle. That does not mean it's weak. It just means it's not going to be as bombastic and forward and projective. The Divine Feminine is really about drawing together, finding balance so when you look at the I Ching it talked about building that unity and drawing the right people into your inner circle and making that a foundation for you the divine feminine inner energy this first week is opening that doorway when you look at the bottom it's a Stonehenge door you are opening that doorway to build that balance you're bringing together the right group of people who individually may not work but you're bringing them together for a purpose and that their differences balance each other and that's where that growth can occur you're the forefront of what's going on this month uh, earth so it's definitely about stepping into that leadership role and sometimes tapping into that divine feminine is a good idea because it gives you a t uh, connection to your intuition your inner knowledge and it also allows you to watch the interplay of other people and being able to adjust things before any flare-ups occur or solve a problem from behind the scenes the divine feminine is exceptionally powerful but she's not always at the forefront the divine feminine works miracles behind the scenes and that's the important part of what they want to bring forward with this is you're not being you you're the leader but you don't have to be at the center of everything you can literally work behind the scenes and make it work really well and that's the energy she's bringing forward to help guide you the second week your message from source is celebration let go and have some fun all work and no play you know makes jack a dull boy but <laughs> it's saying you're doing a lot of work but don't forget you can have fun while you're doing it just find reasons to laugh just for like if you have a business and you're having a business meeting and everyone's coming together put a stuffed animal in the middle of the table for no reason just more for like what the heck keep it light keep it fun 
it doesn't have to always be serious. Sometimes in the middle of a haha -ha moment or just kind of a chill hangout, an idea will pop and it'll solve whatever issue you were dealing with earlier. So what Source wants to bring forward is find reasons to be happy, find reasons to be joyful and celebratory, be grateful for everything that you've had, maybe even use that as a part of a team building exercise is for the first five minutes. There's just each person, we go around the circle, everyone says something they're gra grateful for and we don't stop. When one person's done, the next one says what they're grateful for. One thing. Just keep going around the circle and see how much positivity you can generate because it's pretty powerful when you do that. But it's also about having fun and letting go of must be serious and must be so uh, always in control. I'm the leader. Must look. S no. <laughs> you can still have fun and still be in that position. So your lesson or challenge that's interesting you have another pentacle coming up it's the five of pentacles the five of pentacles is don't be let down if things aren't moving the way you want them to the five of pentacles can be a very upsetting card because it's kind of indicating a loss something is not working as planned but in this instance it's a lesson just because you're not accelerating rapidly comparing yourself to the Joneses it's saying that's okay and it's all right to not be at the same speed. You're doing something different, therefore do it the way it is being led to do. You have a plan, an ambition, a goal. This month is not going to say you have to mimic somebody else. You're using other people's ideas and concepts, but you're building something completely unique for your own. And that could, like I said, be a business, it could be um, an art project, it could be a community organization, whatever it is you're working on, but it's really saying don't be discouraged and don't compare yourself to other people. And that's a little bit of a lesson, but also a challenge because you want to say, see, I'm, I'm doing just the same as them, so we're doing all right. You can do that, it's just not advised. <laughs> so your third week's guide or guardian, and I'm not as familiar with this deck as I'd like to be, this one is the Delphin Dragon. And I'm getting a very deep water energy. I mean, obviously there's a whale down here, but it's also saying that this is a deep intuitive aspect, but let's take a peek at what the little book says here. Do, 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 do. I just haven't heard some of these terms before, so it's easier to double check. Um, the dolphin is the etheric counterpart to whales and dolphins. So he's actually a really good with um, having fun, but also having deep knowledge because the whales are Earth's recorders and keepers or dolphins are spiritual ancestors or future ancestors, future um, beings, depending on how you look at that. They carry the blueprint of our spiritual existence on Earth, and the, this particular dragon um, carries the same knowledge and understanding within the depths of his being. So these guys are here to help you deep dig into the depths of your knowledge, to help you remember the past or possibly the future, and work with that energy of using that to draw the new people in. Your inner circle is your foundation. The first two weeks I'm hearing were really about getting that together and solidifying your connection with each other. This third week, it's now time to start using that inner knowing, that inner knowledge to start bringing in either outside ideas or possibly adding other people depending on what you've got going on. Or it could be just this is where you start to reach out a little bit more is in this third week. Again, apply what works for you. They're giving me this in the terms of business for some reason. Um, there are not a lot of going on with relationships on this one. That's not what I'm hearing so far. So if it's a group, if it's something to do with work, apply where you apply where it needs to apply. <laughs> uh, your message from source is moving forward. Get ready for positive changes. The dolphin, especially when you work with dolphins, those are energies of very, very powerful positivity. And the moving forward energy with this card is also tapping into that more subtle, darker aspect. She's in kind of an aurora borealis situation where there's a city in the snow. It's dark. The dolphin is the lives in the ocean. It's dark. There's cold. There's still multicolors. So you're dealing with energies that are very similar here, and it's about moving forward and it's about doing it with guidance and intuition really tapping into that ancient knowledge the knowledge of your blood ancestors the knowledge of your spiritual connection to nature and to the people around you so this third week the first week was kind of doing your inner work and inner healing the second week was getting everybody on the same page this third week is now that everyone's together you can kind of 
digest all off of that um, combined knowledge and launch forward but it's because you have accessed those deeper knowledges that you can do the bigger movements here um, and it bigger movements could be posting the first ad that takes a lot of courage it takes a lot of nerves to be able to do that and that's where they're saying is it doesn't have to be moving and opening a business in a storefront that could be what's going on but whatever's big to you in that moment is what they're saying and those are the movements that are uh, being Im indicated here they hit the they're showing me a lot of jumbled stuff right now sorry <laughs> your lesson or challenge is the eight of chalices so the eight of chalices don't get discouraged she's feeling overwhelmed she's feeling nervous there's this energy of oh i'm not sure if i can i mean this kind of is her thought patterns a little bit chaotic up there but what they're saying is don't let fear or, or concern get in your way when you're getting to that point where you're ready to start reaching out you're doing so in abundance you're doing so with wisdom and knowledge and it, like it said in the I Ching, there may be a point where you end up losing the prey that you're hunting does that mean it's bad no it just means that okay so someone wasn't being quite as upfront as they should have been and stuff happens so don't get discouraged if something goes a little bit awry work with your guides and guardians your personal ones or the dragons and figure out what how to fix the issue if it pops up and some of you they're saying will not even have an issue here but if you do just work through it and don't get discouraged like oh i failed no you didn't <laughs> that was a mistake it happens move forward so your third sorry fourth week's guide or guardian is the number 12 the sin gold uh, dragon and this one i'm getting the impression is about contemplation looking inside and seeing where you're at in this moment let's see what the little book he says do, 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 do. I don't usually use the books because I prefer intuition but these dragons are a little bit on the intense side so I don't always pick up what they're saying uh, the sin gold is a dragon of gratitude when he arrives we need to take notice and of and acknowledge old patterns he asks us to recognize the emotional blocks and release them Things like self-doubt, fear, jealousy, uh, and lack of confidence. Um, so what he's looking for, what this dragon's bringing forward is inner work and looking within, but it's also about processing. If you've had a hiccup in that third week, how can you fix that? And it, just because it was a, a minor mistake doesn't mean that you're lesser of a person. This particular dragon, what I'm hearing is really focusing on Acknowledging that there are things that need to be fixed allows you to fix them. Seeing that there's a problem allows you to find the solution. But when you push a problem away or you try to ignore it, it makes it bigger and a bigger and bigger. That's when things blow up. So you don't want to let it get to that point. You definitely want to be paying attention. And if something flared up for you personally in this third week, the fourth week is the time where you can figure out where the core is, where did that come from, why did that happen and then move on from there but they're saying that this is actually a really a good thing because the more you work through and clear out the faster things will start to move for you faster where you're comfortable i mean it's going to push your comfort a little bit but it's not going to be like overwhelming um your where am i at <laughs> message from source sorry uh is the children know that your children are protected what you're doing today is setting up your future whether it's a future self whether it's the children whether it's being building a legacy business that's going to pass down whether it's starting a community um, group that is going to benefit the future whatever it is that you are working on earth is really about setting yourself up for the future and you're kind of working the kinks out here because everything's been in place now is the action portion is what i'm hearing is through this month so as you're going through this you're setting things up for the future and God's source divine is saying you're doing the right thing because you're trying to make a better world for the future that's coming coming up you're not doing it for um, spite or you know I'm gonna prove that person wrong you're not doing it for that you're doing it because you actually care about the future the next generation however it looks at for you but it's that's the heart goal that you are really working on you may not have put it into those words earth but the result is going to be a benefit for those who come beyond behind you your 
fourth week's lesson or challenge is the three of pentacles you have a lot of earth going on here you've only had chalices which is water which is a sister energy um but the three of pentacles is saying you don't always have to be the one in control you are the leader of the group but a good leader sets people up to do the right thing and then stands back corrects when necessary but allows the others to do what they need to do what i'm hearing with this one is letting go of some of that may not be what you're ready to do you don't want to hand over and the hawk here is saying you've got this you've set up a killer team of people to work with and work around you don't always have to be the one that does all the effort you've brought them together you set them up guide them manage them but allow them to the freedom to expand upon the combined vision they don't get to change it but they can expand upon it so let's see what your fourth week or fifth week's guide is we have number 19 the crystal dragon the crystal dragons are all about clarity cutting through illusions and what i'm hearing is this fifth week is really about being re revealers of knowledge crystals actually can store information they're just <laughs> modern science is just coming around to that um, but with the crystals they have the ability to store massive amounts of knowledge and information and with the crystal dragons they're here to help draw out the information that you have you may know a lot more than you let yourself admit to and these dragons in this fifth week are like okay you've set up a team you've got things set up and moving you're starting to branch out you're bringing in outside people a couple of those may not have worked but you're starting to expand what your vision is the crystal dragon is saying don't think you always have to look outside for the information you carry and possess a massive amount why else would you be in the situation you're in right now where you're actually stepping into the world as a business owner or working up in a promotional state within a business you that you're working for starting you know whatever it is you're starting on you wouldn't have gotten to this point if you didn't already possess a massive amount of knowledge in the subconscious aspect so the crystal dragon this fifth week is like okay you've done all this you've got everything going now let's see where you're going next let's draw out that next level of inspiration that next <clears throat> excuse me next level of wisdom that you carry because this is not going to be a short-term thing what you're setting up right now is actually going to um, expand and keep moving however that looks for you through the next year or two at least so that's kind of big big energy we got going on here especially this fifth week um, your message from source is intuition trusting your inner guidance so the crystal dragon is saying let's draw out that inner knowledge and this message from source is saying your intuition is going to be a massive aid to you going through the entire month but this last week especially really pay attention to your dreams pay attention to uh, aha moments they're saying any like if you're listening to the radio pay attention don't really pay attention but if you get those little aha moments of like a song will say a phrase and it sticks with you find out why <laughs> write it down journal about it there's things that are going to be coming forward that are going to come from non-obvious sources the crystal dragon is drawing out your information your next level of awareness so to speak and that is going to more than likely come through your intuition it could you know slap you in the face just like uh here it is but they're also saying it could be a lot more subtle than that where you just kind of pick up on something and you're like not sure where this came from but let's apply it <laughs> so your last uh, lesson or challenge from the tarot is the five of swords being honest is one thing being ruthless is another and what i'm hearing with this one is be upfront and honest with how you feel if someone in the circle is getting vicious or they're just being ruthless or unnecessarily mean that is violating your morals your ethics and it's not being in the term righteous persistence the five of swords i what i'm hearing is really about challenges that come up that may shake your foundation that does not mean that it's bad it could be just that you needs to needs to set a little bit so you get that little shake to you know if you do if you're a baker you shake your cake a little bit before you put it in the oven to knock any air bubbles and get it sealed around the edge um, but that's what it, this is coming forward is the lesson or challenges just because something came up and it shook you a little bit 
really look at it with clarity and truth. Is it actually a negative or was it someone just being vindictive? Because if it's vindictive, it's not going to stick anyway. If it's actually something you need to work on, how can you make that into something a little bit less uh, hostile <laughs> and fix the situation? It doesn't say you have to be ruthless or mean about it. It's just what I'm hearing is find a way to fix the problem as it comes up and adjust accordingly. Even if it's removing someone from the group, the team, whatever it is, there's a ways to do it without causing a lot of hate and discontent. That's not always easy, but that's part of tapping into that crystal energy where it's something that you know you have the ability to do inside, and now it's manifesting it to the outside. So I'm actually kind of curious to see how Earth feels about all this because it's going to be an interesting month. Like I said, there wasn't a lot of relationship stuff. This was very much about more of a business practical aspect. Um, it could be work or however this for this reading. But the month of December looks to be a little bit more uh, growth focused for our Earth family. So um, let me know in the comments down below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you enjoy these type of videos. Uh, let me know any thoughts, feelings, and opinions as long as we're respectful. That's really all we can ask for in today's world. Uh, with that, I will see you in the next episode.